what's up ladies and gentlemen, your friendly neighborhood ELT here, and today I got a special video for you. Today we are taking a look at the Spider-Man Collector's Gallery Statue by Gentle Giant. This happened to be one of my birthday gifts, as some of you may know, my birthday was last week on Friday, January 19th, in which I celebrated by having an amazing Spider-Man PS4 birthday cake, which Insomnia Games themselves agreed that it was an awesome cake, so that helped make my day just a little bit more special. But anywho, one of my birthday gifts I received on uh, January 19th was this statue, and what we're going to do here today is actually take a look at it, and I'll give you my thoughts on this statue. First of all, taking a look at the packaging, you see the front of the box has a nice image of the statue. You get another pic from the statue on one side, and another picture of the statue on the other side. And what do you get if you turn the box around? Another image of the statue. But wait, there's more, there's actually a little read up, so if you want to read that, pause the video right now and get your read on. Alright, so without any further ado, let's open up this box and take a look at the statue and oh my god, the statue's missing! Okay, relax everyone, relax, I was just kidding, stop screaming, I actually took the statue out days ago, and it is an awesome statue to look at, I must say, really, 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 I can't stress really enough, really detailed, I especially love the cobwebbing on this statue, it came out near perfect, I love the way the eyes are shaped, I love the spider logo, I even love the fact that his back is attached to the street lamp, but you can also see that they did sculpt in the back spider logo. They could have just cheesed it and left it all blue, but they actually went the extra mile and sculpted in the back logo, despite half of it being stuck onto the lamppost, and I gotta say that's an incredibly amount of detail that they did there. Everything from the webbing, to the lamppost, to the crosswalk sign, to the little part of the side street is absolutely detailed, and it is stunning to look at. Now one thing that this statue can do is actually light up. The lamppost and the crosswalk sign actually lights up if you hit a button on the side. So let's dim the lights, like such, and take a look at it lighting up. And boy oh boy, I gotta say, does that look beautiful. I especially love the way the light of the lamppost bounces off of Spider-Man. If you get it right in a certain angle, it almost looks like directly from the comic book, like it just jumped right out of the comic book right onto the statue, and it looks incredible. Now, one little detail that I added myself to this statue, as some of you know, I live in Jersey, and I visit New York a few times a year. Now, one thing about New York is it's not really the most cleanest place to be. There's a lot of trash on the streets and a lot of newspapers on the streets. So, what I did just to add a little detail to the statue was I actually went on Google Images, found a front cover of a Daily Bugle newspaper that I liked, printed it out, cut it up, and just watch what happens when I add this Daily Bugle newspaper to the statue. Once I just placed the paper right there, I think it just helps the statue pop out even more. I love this freaking statue, especially with the cutout of the Daily News just placed so perfectly right there to resemble the dirty, but still charming in some way, New York City streets. So once again, if you're looking to pick this up, this is the Spider-Man Collector's Gallery statue by Gentle Giant. I absolutely love this statue. It was an amazing birthday gift to receive. And I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, I'm your friendly neighborhood ELT. Hope you're enjoying this slideshow of photos. And until next time, catch you later.